Now, the man behind popular film songs like Goldfinger and Willy Wonka has died at the age of 90. Leslie Brickus had a wide-ranging career writing hits for numerous musicals and films. Tim Ullman has this report. There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. You may not know the name, but you'll definitely know his songs. Leslie Brickus, as lyricist and composer, was behind some of the most well-known and most beloved film music of the last 60 years. Confirming his death on social media, his friend, the actress Dame Joan Collins said, one of the giant songwriters of our time has sadly died. I will miss him terribly. Sentiments echoed by singer Elaine Page, who tweeted, she was shocked and saddened by the news, describing him as one of our great songwriters. And Nancy Sinatra said, my heart is aching today because one of the loves of my life is gone. Oh, Leslie Brickus was born in London in 1931. In a career spanning more than seven decades, he co-wrote the theme to two James Bond films, won two Oscars and a Grammy, and was involved in the writing of more than a thousand songs. The Candyman can. In his memoir, he said he was one of the luckiest people he knew. Generations of filmgoers may disagree. Luck had nothing to do with it. Cause the candy man thinks it Incredible, incredible tunes there. Yes, Jeremy. and quite a lot of the songs there I, I, I didn't know that he was involved in and a lot of the ones everyone knows. Classics. Oh, well, I was just picking up on some of the, some of the papers. Uh, Leslie Brickus, who we, we were talking about just a few minutes ago, I think, and I'm one of those who's kind of wising up to his, all the work he did over the years. Uh, we were talking about Charlie and Chocolate Factory, the movie songs. He's a great songwriter that he's written over the years. So a lot of anecdotes here. He was, for example, uh, the man who wrote the lyrics for uh, Dr. Doolittle, Rex Harrison, If I Could Talk, to the animals. Do you remember oh. that song? Anyone remember that song? I, I remember Talk to that the animals. Because he didn't really sing it, did he? That's the thing. So Rex Harrison, who was famously grumpy, he was. Was he? Yes. Oh. Did you not know? He did didn't know. know so that. he was famously grumpy. So he pre presented with the lyrics to the comedy song, If I Could Talk to the Animals. Rex wasn't very happy, apparently. He said to, just face to face with the man who wrote it, Leslie Brickers, he says, It's such a silly song, he <laughs> said. And he particularly objected to the rhyming of rhinoceros mm -hmm. with of coceros. <laughs> you, you remember that line? And, and he, said, he said he didn't think it was good English uh, and said he particularly <laughs> hated puns. Um, he said, Dr. Udalai, Rex Harrison says, both happen to be and speak English. He says an angry numerous song is meant to be funny, presented at Rick's. This isn't funny. God protect me, oh says Rex Harrison, presented with the genius song that was, if I can talk to the... And you're right, he spoke it rather than saying You were going to do it then, weren't you? I began. So a grumpy Rex and Harrison complaining about yeah. grammar. Yeah, and he walked off shortly it, afterwards, off the production, and then got brought back of... in again. No, no, can't anyway. think of anyone he might remind me of. Anyway.